today we have the largest plesiodon in North America. Which is the broad-headed skink. Now the broad-headed skink is a lizard. It has a broad head. The males have a broad head in a mating season. It's red in color. This one right here, this isn't mating season. This is actually winter. So he's pretty cold and kind of uh, coming out of a brumation phase. It's a warmer day, so he's kind of coming out and become more mobile. This is an arboreal species. They like to live in the tree canopy. And they nest in holes and cavities in trees, like a tree like this live oak right here. The largest lizard species native to this area and they are also subterranean. This area right here is the prairie, and uh, this is Kanapaha Prairie, and this is a wildlife sanctuary for many different species. We filmed the largest eastern mud snake that was ever filmed right here on this property, as well as seen 10-foot gators and tons of other cool reptiles and wildlife. This right here is our latest find at this property, and it is just a large male broad-headed skink. And like I said, in spring mating season, he will be brightly colored redhead. Females actually have five, uh, five stripes going down their back and they are slightly smaller than the males. This is a beautiful broad-headed skink. The wide jaws give it a triangular appearance and its name comes from the veed head. The broad-headed skink has very strong jaw muscles. It feeds a lot on invertebrates and stuff. Now he's warming up because my hands have heat. So he's gonna become more active and I don't want to disturb him. Another way to distinguish skinks from snakes is they have ear holes. Okay, now let's put him back right where we found him. All right, he's free to go on his way. What is the snake or something? Those are all ones? Yeah. looking for a cavity to crawl into right now. Is there a big hole over there? 